I'm fully convinced that the success of Amazon is actually created by the sheer terror pushing people to the extreme. I started working there in May 2015. In the beginning, it was very exciting. It was on a fresh site, which is a supermarket that delivers to your home. After about half a year, I started seeing things at the site that were very disturbing. I started seeing abuses by power because people could do it. You never had enough time to finish what you needed to do. It was impossible to achieve the goals you needed to achieve. And that was the dilemma you always found yourself in. One area manager, he said, I just choose what to get in trouble for. That is how I make it through the day, that is how I make it through the month. So that is what I did. The site manager was talking about speed. We need to move faster. We're not making our unit cost. For instance, we have so many units that are being picked to be delivered, and there's a certain time that you have to do that. By his calculation, we weren't doing it quickly enough. He said, the speed I want is when I walk on the floor that I have to tell people to slow down because they're charging it in each other with the carts. You cannot fulfill this, but you're ordered to go at a speed that people are actually actually running into each other. I'm very proud of the culture that we have at Amazon. I did work many days that were 15, 16 hours, and I had that mini stroke after one year. Many times we work two weeks straight without a day off, leaving at four o'clock in the morning, coming home at 10 o'clock in the evening. I was at work in the morning meeting, and I was a mid stutter. I wanted to speak, and I couldn't. It was a very strange feeling. It was determined I had a TIA, a transient ischemic attack, so I have a mini stroke. The good thing is that there's no bleeding. It is just a narrowing of the arteries. My doctor asked, what are you doing? How is your lifestyle? His conclusion that it was was caused by long work hours and stress combined. He also said the chance of reoccurrence within the first two months is very high if you do not rest. So I took two months off. I contacted Amazon, told them all about it. They completely pulled back their hands and they say, well, we have nothing to do with this. Ultimately, the state of California said, well, you can go on disability for two months. So I just took my two months, I rested up and went back. were the same, actually more pressure, longer hours. And then that's when the 24 hour day came in. I started the day pretty early, got to the site probably around 5.30, quarter to six, was there all day, left at nine, got home about 10, got a phone call 11.30 about a truck that was gonna be late. About 1.30, it was done, fell asleep. At 2.15, the multi-site leader called me. Finally got off the call at three o'clock, put my head down for a little bit and went back to work at 4.30. That was my reality at Amazon. Maybe that's why Amazon is experimenting with drones because they work and they don't complain. But there's nothing ingenious about Amazon. The formula they found is that they can push people to a limit that they've probably never been pushed before. It's highly unethical and immoral. And the issue of, um, of working conditions I'm very proud of our working conditions. I don't know who he's talking to. I don't know what information he's gathering, but the conditions at Amazon, you cannot be proud of. You cannot be proud of that if you are a business owner or just a human being. This is obscene.